Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Ed Manga here, and I hope you're having a great day. Um, if you're enjoying my content, give me a like, subscribe, comment. Um, shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, and let's get started. So in this series, we are going to cover different powers, probably the powers that are a little bit more obscure, and then we'll probably lead into the more general um, aspects of powers later on. But the first character that I wanted to dive into is Forget Me Not. Now, some of you are saying, uh, who's that exactly? Uh, Forget Me Not is a character. I'm going to bring up some screens. He was debuted in X-Men Legacy number 300, and he was part of various teams, such as the X-Men and X-Force and things of that nature. Now, he is part of the 616 universe. Now, some of you are probably like, I know comic books, and I never heard of this character before. How could he be part of the 616? Hmm. The reason for for you all and the reason why it makes plausible sense why you may not know about him is because of his powers. Now, his powers are he is in a constant state of um, perpetual superposition, right? Constant existential superposition. And what that truly means, everyone, is that he is there but not there. OK, so. I put, I'm bringing up this picture right here so that you could see it, right? Uh, think about quantum theory a little bit, right? Um, must be real, can't be real, right? So he's not able to be perceived by the people around him. So what does that really mean? They forget him on a constant basis, right? So for example, you, if forget me not was in front of you, in about a couple of seconds, you'll forget that he was there, right? Uh, he's in a constant state of existential superposition he's there but he's not there he's real but he's not real right now now some of you are probably saying like that power kind of sucks and it, it it does um he went through a, a process of going through depression because no one remembers him right professor x had to if you're looking at this um this quick panel right here professor x had to actually create psychic reminders um in order to remember that he's there now He's been around for actually a lot of years in the X-Men, but because he wasn't um, perceived is why we don't remember, theoretically, is why we don't remember his character. He was there during the Brood time, right? When they were going against the Brood, uh, he partnered up with all the, pretty much Nightcrawler and the rest of the X-Men um, during those times. But again, he was in a constant state of existential superposition, meaning that he cannot per perceive, perceive. Now, this is this is the case for not just any regular person, but also for psychics and also for mechanical, technological um, warfare weapons, right? So let's say that uh, heat seeking missile was was heading towards him, then eventually they wouldn't be able to pick up his signature, right? His atoms are in a st constant state of flux, right? Um, again, think about quantum theory where uh, you, you know, you can't have one thing and the other happening exactly at the same time, right? Now, it's it's a it's a stellar power right it's a stellar power in the sense that it has a lot of potential right but at the same time it has its drawbacks right the drawbacks are um basically on an emotional scale where you're again you're in a constant state where no one really remembers you and there's many times where throughout the comic books if you read them uh, especially in uh, legacy x-men legacy number 300 that you could see you could see that he he has a big part of in matters but at the same time he's kind of depressed now he's overcome that depression he's overcome that depression in the sense that uh it's not the quote exactly but it's that sometimes you could do the right thing and never get any gratitude for it right um which is pretty cool right a lot of times people who try to do the right thing they always want some kind of gratitude like um remember when i did this for you right he's he's probably the perfect person right where his powers actually give way to doing things for the right reason, even if no one remembers you. Um, so it's a really cool character, really cool powers. Um, now, uh, you might ask the question, would you want to have those powers? Now, well, it goes, it kind of, you have to think about it, right? Would you care if no one remembers you just so you could do greater good, right? Another reason why I brought this up is because he could be brought back in a way that really makes sense for future content in terms of like um, comic books, in terms of like the secret, the secret stories of Forget Me Not, um, what he's done. Uh, um, his character, just think about, you know, a little bit of the, that, you know, must be real, 
can it be real? You know, is he really there? And he's not. Um, but that's Forget Me Not premiered in X-Men Legacy number 300. And his creators were, I forgot their name. So I want to make sure to give them credit because um, I think it's really cool. Um, creators is Mike um, Carey, Simon Spooner, and Christos and Gage, right? Um, pretty cool. They made a stellar character. Forget Me Not is the character. Um, check him out. X-Men Legacy number 300. And next time on Powers Discuss, we are going to tackle an anime, anime character from Dragon Ball Z. And if you haven't watched that anime, then that's okay. Maybe you might like the power that we're going to discuss. And it is a time freeze. This character has something called time freeze, right? And you might say like, okay, we heard about that power before. But this character named Goldo has a ca caveat. So we'll see that next time on our series. If you're enjoying my content, give me a like, subscribe, especially for this series, right? So again, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on Forget Me Not, and I'll see you all next time for the Goldo, uh, for the Powers Discuss video, and take care. Peace.